it's easy and straightforward to validate your pages and eliminate any errors to ensure your AMP pages are actually linked to by platforms. Here's how. The key strength of AMP isn't just that it makes your pages fast, but that it makes your pages fast in a way that can be validated. This way, third parties such as Twitter, Instagram, or Google Search can feel great about serving AMP pages to readers in increasingly interesting ways. So how do you check whether your page is valid AMP? Here are the top five ways. Number one, the Browser Developer Console. The AMP validator comes bundled with the AMP.js library, so it's available on every AMP page out of the box. Simply open the browser dev tools of your choice and make sure the console is open. Add development equals one to the URL of your page and reload the page to see validation errors appear or hopefully not appear. Number two, the web interface. If you're just trying things out and want to see a live preview while you type or don't have access to DevTools right now, head to validator.ampproject.org for the web interface of the validator. The cool thing about this one is that it updates in real time. Any changes you make to the HTML are going to be instantly revalidated. Number three, the browser extension. The possibly most convenient way of validating AMP pages is the Validator browser extension that is available for both Chrome and Opera. As you browse, it will automatically validate each AMP page visited and gives a visual indication of the validity of the page as a colored icon. Clicking on the icon shows you any errors in an overlay. The extension has another nifty feature. If a canonical non-AMP page uses the paired mode, meaning that there's an AMP page available of the same content, the icon will turn blue and a click will reveal the AMP version. Number four, the NPM package. If you want to integrate validation into your build and test pipelines, you should grab the AMP HTML validator package from NPM and include it in your Node.js based scripts. If you're using Gulp, things get even easier. Get the Gulp AMP HTML validator instead and create a validation task in just a few lines of code. Number five, finally, the command line tool. There's the option to run the validator from your command line. That comes in handy if you want to validate lots of AMP pages via shell scripts or if you want to add git pre-commit hooks. I especially like the latter, as it means that a developer on your project won't even be able to commit invalid code. The CLI ships with the AMP HTML validator npm package I just mentioned. Then you simply run AMP HTML validator from your terminal with a second argument pointing to a remote or local AMP page. So what happens if you actually find errors? Easy. Looking at the validation output, you'll see an explanation of why and where your page is invalid, and usually a reference link that explains the problem in more detail. You can also head directly to the validation errors site on ampproject.org, which link you can find in the description. And if you're desperate and think the validator just messes with you, get in touch with us via your preferred communication channel, all linked in the description. Onwards.